product and how big is this spiritual organ? <laughs> Good. Should I do Marcel Marceau? It was, uh, no, you studied to be a mime, I heard. I, well, I was about seven, look, there you are. That's all you're getting out of me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, 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 oh, don't push me. What? <laughs> I, 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 yeah. <laughs> around 17, I realized I, I was, uh, uh, a mime trapped in a man's body. <laughs> so, I mean, this is really quite embarrassing to talk about, you know. Anything to do with mime in America is embarrassing to talk. Because you get killed by clowns over here, don't you? Yeah. According to Bob No, Goldthwait. but there are some good mimes. You probably would have been a good mime. Um, it, was, uh, it was kind of a revolutionary company that I was with. Uh -huh. and, uh, because they spoke. <laughs> well, well, that's not a mime. Th that's why they were revolutionary. <laughs> No, wait, and also you tried to, you studied to be a monk? Yeah, I realized one day when I was around 18 that I was a monk in a mime's body. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what, what's going to happen? You're still okay for time, right? Well, this was my idea. So we're going to do another couple of songs, right? Then we take a very, very short break. And then we come back and do the low album for you, if you want. You okay out there with that? Hello? Thank God you know it. We could have been starting. And then we'll do some more songs after that, you know. So this could I'm not joking, this could be really long. So if you like if you didn't make any arrangements for getting home, I've got a fairly big motor outside so I can get some of you back, yeah? You know. Like two or three. <laughs> Ah, shut up, Bowie. Shut up, Jones. <laughs> I've got the attention of a goldfish, which is five seconds. I've got the attention of a goldfish, which is five seconds. That, that actually, um, that, that's a theme uh, among many, that you've visited um, so many things, like uh, alien culture, which is now on every backpack and lunchbox. Uh, you know, the cross-dressing, which is now being done by basketball stars. Who said I'd left that alone? Visited. Oh, I see. <laughs> Give us a little sample of your style with him. Oh, okay. All right, I've never uh, done anything before. Okay. okay. Never in your whole life, and we'll move 14 feet. I saw no, me in all uh, nothing. I'm, right? I'm walking along a street, and a man uh, who's about seven or eight foot tall is mm -hmm. approaching me. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he's going to ask me for an autograph. Mm -hmm. What, what do I do when he... Okay, the first thing you know that he's coming to ask, you already picked that up, okay, the insight, so... I know that. From here, that is, the first thing, that, the advantage that you have yes. at, on your side is that he's coming at you. Yes. That's the first thing. Yeah. So you're using all of whatever he's coming with against him. So if I were coming at you and I would choke you like so... I'd scream very loud yeah, you first. So choke. <laughs> choke. Just choke. I'm choked. Right from here. So the first thing you want to do is distract his mind from what he's doing here. You wouldn't fight him. Or try to break nothing, or try to pull him loose, or even try a block. Yes. All you have to do is, from a distract his mind, hit him here in, a, in his groin. <laughs> and that way. <laughs> there was a film on t TV the other night, and the creature in it was like this big bowel. It was like, it was the, uh, the invasion of the bowel syndrome, I think. It was this <laughs> huge, throbbing piece of organic tissue, which. <laughs> It was a spiritual organ, it was, actually. It was a spiritual <laughs> organ. Oh, was it ever? And uh, uh, it would come over and suffocate everybody in sight. It would just, just, just plop over them. Well, I was thinking, you know, <laughs> they better not bring any of that water back here. Because uh, if they're contained in the water, I mean... Don't drink the, the water. That's don't what they drink did. the water. Yeah, whatever you do on Mars, don't drink the water. So I was going to say, I had it all planned. I was going to say... Hello, everyone, and you would say... That was, that was interesting. I want to hear you say, hello, sailor. Hello, everyone. Hello, sailor. <laughs> you made an old man very happy. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, David. Yes. How's your wife doing? She's doing very well. <laughs> um, How are you all? 
<laughs> and what would you like to say to Cleveland, David? Uh, what would I like to say to Cleveland? That um, if you move your head very fast and blink, the two skyscrapers that you've got look, make it look like New York. <laughs> <sighs> Other uh, than that. What do, you, what do you think about playing in Cleveland? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? But there's a newsman waiting, waiting in, in the, the hall. hall. Uh, <laughs> do you know what? It's <laughs> well, you're entering your fourth decade as a performer. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, <laughs> well, you're, you are entering your, your fourth decade as a performer, and yes. you're as leading edge as you ever were, and you're, you seem so young, and you're still so cool. <laughs> How do you do it? Cashmere, cashmere. <laughs> there are certain areas of their lives that they keep encountering. So it's a there's a nice kind of dichotomy. Do you need anything, Dave? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were plenty. Look, what do they look like? Rove, what do you think? What do you think there, Rove? I certainly, th I certainly think it's the wave of the future. And that's, that's the thing about you. You're always one step ahead, especially as, as far as technology goes. Yeah. I mean, you're the, the first artist to ever release a song that could be uh, accessible on the internet. The first artist to do uh, interviews by email. Is it important to you to, to not be a, a technophobe? I'm a bit of a Sunday futurist, you know, Rove. <laughs> I like to tinker away in the shed come up with something a bit, a little bit kind of science fiction-y, you know, of an afternoon after the lunch. <laughs> Very nice. I say to the wife, darling, I think I've put, I think I've put my hand on something that we're going to see a lot of in the future. <laughs> Have you got a good shot of these shoes? I love talking cameras. Don't you love talking cameras? Do that again. Have you got a good shot of these shoes? Yes. Hi, this is David by, oh, what a full head of hair. These are made of jelly. I mean, some of these things have been used since 1940. <laughs> now, the object of this one is to take your fist and smash it as hard as you can, grab as much as you can, as fast as you can, before the alarms go off. And it only costs 50 cents to do it. Do the family tour with you? Uh, do Amand and, uh, and Alexandra, do they tour with you when you head off? They may do Rove, or should I say, Rove. You should say Rove. <laughs> you, I love it when you say Rove. It sounds very exotic. It's nice. I like it a lot. Rove. Rove. And I will call you, I will call you David Bowie. Bowie. Rove. The two names are synonymous with sin and fun. Uh -huh. We have so many years between us where we enjoyed the world. The world was our world. <laughs> What? I have to say that it must be difficult for people to quit smoking because you make it look so glamorous. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, that's I horrible. I know. Before the tour started. Oh, you did? Yeah, he's... Watching him do all that stuff, uh, I mean, it's just so... But I always have. I've always smoked on stage and I just can't stop now. I don't smoke anything off stage. I never smoke off stage. Only on stage. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. You're, de you're delightful. <laughs> you're delightful. Thank you for coming on the show. Next. <laughs> You lived a wild young life. Do you ever? Look I lived a wild and reckless <laughs> youth. I've seen a young girl. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, <laughs> nobody. Were you sitting comfortably? Good. Then we'll come to an end. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed myself today, and uh, I hope to see you all once again, another day, in another place. So. Till the same time, next time, this is David Bowie saying, oh, oh. <laughs>